Hello and welcome back to our part 6 of our Think Greek series. So today we're going to learn about what it is to think about whatever is of good report. So get your Bibles ready. Let's get into the Word. I want you to open your Bibles to Philippians 4.8 and we're going to read together and it reads and it says this. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So what does it mean to think of whatever is of good report? Let's take a look at the Greek word euphemes. Philippians 4.8 the word good report in Greek is you famous. Can you say it with me? You famous. This means spoken in a kindly spirit, well reported, laudable, reputable. In the Merriam Webster dictionary, good means favorable character or tendency, and report means a common talk spread by common talk, quality of reputation, so it is to say favorable character spoken of someone by others. So when we are instructed to think on whatever is of a good report, it means we are to have a movie in our mind about what it is spoken well or in a kindly spirit. Well, this word Say it with me again. You famous. You famous. This word is used one other time in scripture. As Paul talks about being ministers of the gospel. Being people who share about Jesus. So why is it important we think about what is a good report? Spoken of kindly. So in 2 Corinthians 5.20 tells us now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us we implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to God 1 Corinthians 10 23 says all things are lawful for me but not all things are helpful all things are lawful for me, but not all things edify. Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. First Timothy 3, 1 through 7 talks about how pastors and leaders are to be people above reproach, of good report and behavior. First Peter 2, 9 says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. It is important we have a movie in our mind of what it is to have a good report. Because as Christ's ambassadors, his royal priesthood, we are to be the example to others. So not to cause them to not believe in God. Our reputation can reflect God. We want to be a good reflection of God, a true reflection of Him. Let's take a look at the story of Dorcas, which is in Acts 9:36 to 43. Please read with me. At Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. And since Lida was near Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Then Peter, 
arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room, and all the widows stood by him weeping, showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But Peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes and she saw Peter. She sat up. Then she gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, he presented her alive. And it became known throughout all Joba, and many believed in the Lord. So it was that he stayed many days in Joppa with Simon a Tanner. Dorcas was known to be a woman full of good works. She was a good ambassador of Christ and she was charitable. Even though she became ill and died, she was a person of a good report. They sent out Peter. Peter came and raised her back to life. And again, in her life, she represented God's awesomeness in the land, and they learned her story. Because Dorcas lived a life of a good reputation, many believed in the Lord. So remember this, number one. We are to think on whatever is a good report. Number two, our choices and reputation reflect God when we tell others that we are Christians and we want to be good examples. Number three, we want to live a life like Dorcas as people of a good report, thinking and doing things that represent God well and cause others to believe in Jesus.